Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, let's start here on the daily chart. We are, we put in a lower high here, 51 versus 58. We're coming back to retest the daily mid band. The low, uh, the low in Globex is 31.1625. Um, basically, what's happened, you can see it a little better on the hourly chart. We've been compressed Sunday all through yesterday's session we had a little bit of a false breakout and anybody that's followed me for a while and i talked about it in the room yesterday has talked about head fakes up to kind of band rides down and that's what we experienced uh yesterday into the close we got a little bit of a band ride down they um they really sleepily walked it back up to the hourly mid band until about three in the morning and then they knocked it down to weekly pivot hovered there for a bit and then knocked it down again to 16 quarter They've rejected back up to weekly pivot and they're kind of testing that now. So I'm curious to see what happens here in the weekly pivot area as far as what the next move is gonna be. I totally screwed this up. So I, um, we had a nice long yesterday. Then it just, we didn't do much else because it was just chopping. I had everybody short, 39 quarter, uh, made some money on the first move down and then I overthought it. I overthought it, um, uh, got out of the got out of the shorts, got into a long, and woke up to a to a minus five disaster stop. And all the thing did was exactly what I said it was going to do at the close yesterday, which is I wanted to be long above the hourly mid band, which is your blue line here, and short below. I overthought it. I tried to get cute. I tried to do an anticipatory long, broke my rules, and it bit me. So. It happens to the best of us. If you overthink it, if you break your rules, sometimes you're gonna get smacked. Mr. Market smacked me last night, but because we use disaster stops, nothing that ever happens, not the dumbest thing we ever do, is gonna do worse than a, than a minus five. Um, we don't add to losing positions, we don't double down, we don't triple down. I can only imagine some of the numbers that people are waking up to, not in our room, but out there in the world that were that, that, that were long into this last night with no stops. Very ugly stuff. You gotta use disaster stops, you gotta respect risk because you're gonna make mistakes when you trade, bottom line. So, today's really gonna be about weekly pivot. Really gonna be about weekly pivot. Um, that nine day has shifted down to 26. He tried to type. So 20, 24 half to 26, you got, you've got a lot there. You've got a lot there. Um, and to, to complicate matters right here at 19, you've got um, the daily mid band. So at 19, So at 19, you got your daily mid band. I had taken that off yesterday. I think we're going to need it. So daily mid band. Daily mid band 19. So far, this is supported daily mid band, right? And then you've got some potential resistance up here at the nine day and the weekly pivot. So, and monthly pivot is down below there at 10. So we have some big inflection points that we are dealing with in this area. And I expect the battle over those big inflection points to continue into the open. So look, a couple lessons this morning. Compression into expansion, daily pivot retest, weekly pivot, nine day. Everybody, man, and the bigger, bigger takeaway is, look, even when you've got it pegged, and I had this scenario pegged, Sometimes you're gonna overthink stuff, you're gonna screw up, but if you respect risk, the worst that any stupid mistake you make in the market is gonna do when you follow our rules is a minus five, and you can always come back from a minus five. And so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Take care, we'll do some more stuff out on social. Uh, trade them well, come check out the room. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. 
Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.